Hello, love. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. If you're new here, my name is Sarah, and one of the ways that I make money is selling clothes and other goods on platforms such as Poshmark, Macari, and eBay. Now, on this channel, I experiment with all kinds of different sourcing strategies, and one sourcing strategy that I'm sharing with you today is actually through Flip. Now, Flip is an online consignment platform and it is specifically made for resellers in mind. It takes people just uploading inventory that they have at home, whether they're just getting rid of their personal clothes or sometimes resellers are trying to get through some inventory and it connects with different resellers. Resellers have an option to put out their consignment price or their consignment percentage. In my case, this was my very first lot and I knew that I needed to build some reputation, build some reviews up. So I said that I would take 40%, the other person then would take 60%. As I get more reviews and more reputation, I will put that to 50% and then moving on to 60% and the other person would take 40%. Now Flip does walk you through this pretty easily. They pretty much tell you, listen, start low, build up your reputation, and eventually you can get to that 60%. I'm taking that suggestion from them. So this behind me is my very first lot that I got. I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you. I did have one thing that sold already. This was a Tory Burch sport yellow jumpsuit. It was a two piece, it was a, not jumpsuit, track suit rather. It was a zip up long sleeve, it was yellow and the pants as well. I'll put a picture here of what it ended up selling at. What I ended up getting for it actually gave me my money back because I did end up buying out these items from the person. I ended up uh, paying $90 for this lot instead of just waiting for the consignment to go through, which is kind of typical it sounds like on that app, but again, this is my first lot. So I'm gonna see how it goes as I get more and more, and I will, of course, update you on that. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you what I do still have available. Of course, I'll always put the links in the description, not the purpose of the video, but if you see something that you like, of course, the link will be in the description and go straight to my eBay store. Now, this is a pair of Joe's jeans. They are straight leg, they are, of course, not necessarily in style at this present moment, but people still go through the straight leg jeans. They are, I'm sure you've seen the tag, but just in case you haven't, that is the tag. These are size 27, and I said straight leg. They're actually skinny, for sure. That's definitely a skinny leg. That little piece is a fuzz, so they're in perfect condition. And I did make sure to double check the condition right when I got the pieces. That Tory Burch tracksuit actually had a stain on it, but I was able to get it out, which I'm so happy because I'm pretty sure that's the thing that is going to sell for the highest. While I might get, you know, some money for these, that Tory Burch tracksuit definitely was the winner on this lot and the reason why I picked it to begin with. And the fact that I already made my money back just means that anything else that I make is just icing on the cake because really this was kind of an experiment. I really do enjoy experimenting with different sourcing strategies as I am learning to hone in on exactly what works for me. I am realizing that it's consignment and I am moving into higher priced or higher ASP items. But of course, everything is an experiment. Different things work for different people. So that is what I'm sharing with you today. These are DKNY pants. They are size eight. This I would say is more of a straight leg for sure. In perfect condition. They're more of the dark wash. Again, I don't know how much I'm gonna get from that, but really it was all about experimentation. Another pair of DKNY, and by the way, this lot was told to me to be somebody that was an individual, that they were just selling their own clothes. 
However, when I received these, they all had a little tag or the little piece of the tag that I just pulled off of this one. I'm thinking that it was a reseller, but I can't call that completely. Um, I'm saying this because a lot of the sizing is different and they did have that tag on them, almost like they came from Goodwill or somewhere else. Or it could have been that this person had a garage sale and tagged different things. I don't know. I just thought it was particular that there was that tag on every single item. These are seven for all mankind. Relax. These are men's jeans. They're in pretty good condition, I would say. These are size 36. There is a little bit wear on the bottom, but nothing too crazy, I wouldn't say. Um, especially if somebody was going to fix them up anyways, they could easily just fix that hem without a doubt. This is the first time of me getting this brand. It's cut from the cloth. I've heard of it before. When I saw this tag, I had no idea what that was. So I had to pull up Google Lens to even see what it said. And of course, cut from the cloth is what it was. These are skinny jeans. These are twi size 27 and they're, I would say, in excellent condition. The only thing is that they are skinny jeans. These are men's Levi's, size 38. Relaxed fit, nothing too crazy or spectacular about these. They do have the button fly though, so I guess that's a little bit different, but just some basic jeans. They are in excellent condition. These are seven for all mankind, men's again. They are a pocket, which I thought was Interesting, I had to look up what that was. There were a couple of listings that I can run comps on. These are True Religion jeans. These are size 24, super small. I don't know if these are going to sell or if they will, they're gonna take a long time to sell because this is not a typical size. It is a pretty small size, but anyways, they are in perfect condition. They are skinny, so that puts another ding against it just because people are definitely still wearing them, but I think the memo has been out that they are phasing out of style, so to say. I still wear them. A lot of people still wear them. I just don't know that people are necessarily searching out for them at this point. And these are Michael Kors. They are not Michael Michael Kors, which is the diffusion brand. So that's a pretty good thing. However, I looked up comps for these. The comps are still not very high. I would anticipate selling these at, realistically for about $10. They do have the embroidered pockets there and it's kind of hard to see in the video, but that embroidery is raised a little bit. They are bootleg or straight leg. I would say they're more of straight leg than bootleg actually. But Michael Michael Kors, there you go. And then the final pair of jeans were a Joe's jeans. These were size 27. They are distressed. They are skinny. Got kind of the distressed knees there going on and a little bit on the back pocket. Pretty good condition. On the bottom, there's just a little bit, but probably I can just cut that off and it really wouldn't be that big of a deal to be honest. But I put, we'll put a picture of that for sure in the listing. By the time this video goes up, everything will be listed. So like I said, I will put everything in the description so you can see what I ended up listing it for. If it does show up as a broken link, that means that it has been sold. So that's a plus on my end. If of course, if you're interested in signing up for Flip, I will put a referral link in the description. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed and you've been watching my videos or you're brand new, I appreciate you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It allows me to show up on your home page as well as your subscription page. So that allows us to continue to learn and grow together. 
Again, I bought this lot out for $90. The Tory Burch tracksuit ended up selling for $96 as profit to me. While I was actually creating this video or filming this video, I did get the notification that everything went well. It was accepted and rated by the buyer. So everything went well there. Everything else that's going to sell or hopefully sell from this lot is just gonna be icing on the cake. And it just continues to allow me to experiment with different sourcing strategies as I continue on my reselling journey. If you are interested in getting into Flip at any point, I do have a referral link down in the description. It's also worth noting that Flip has free cross-listing as well as sharing. So even if you're not interested in putting in for a bid for lots, it's worth it to go check out Flip just for that point. Of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It allows me and my videos to show up on your homepage. And of course, it allows us to continue to learn and grow together.